guys want to see how I create a successful vision board and how I actually see those things come to fruition, I highly suggest first that you hit that subscribe button and that you continue watching this video. If you're new here, my name is Sierra Jane, and welcome to another video. In today's video, you guys, we are making our vision boards. And yes, I know we're just days away from the new year, but that doesn't matter. You can make a vision board whenever you want. Don't let people discourage you. You're going to need a couple of things in glue sticks, poster boards, and magazines. It's definitely not one of them. So in this video, we are actually creating a digital vision board. First things first is you definitely want to set the mood. A lot of people don't mention this and they kind of just jump right into it. It's very, very important to get in a sense of gratitude. If you are in a ugly space, a negative space or whatever like that, it's really, really a sensitive thing and a lot of people don't mention it. So definitely, definitely set the mood. I personally like to light a candle, play some good old music. I even like to just kind of list sometimes five things that I'm grateful for just to really set the tone and just get you in that mood to lift your spirits up. All right, now once you got the mood set, now it's time to gather those images and I think it's kind of important to set a theme. We're gonna go ahead and switch gears and I'm gonna show you guys my screen and how we are gonna get started with creating our vision. All right, so hopping straight into it, we're gonna be using Canva.com. So once you are on the main page, you can type in phone wallpaper. If you wanna do your vision board on an iPad or a desktop, you can type in iPad, you can type in desktop wallpapers, but Canva offers a lot of wallpapers. Granted, I do know that some of these are pro versions, so if you don't have pro, but they still have a lot, even if you just are using the free version. Um, you can type in words like marble if you wanna go with that type of theme. That's kind of your look, like that's kind of the theme that I went with last year, but they have so many that you can choose from, guys. And keep in mind, you can delete, uh, change the colors of those images on those um, kind of preset backgrounds. Ultimately, I decided to go with this leafy background just because I felt like it resonated with me. And like I said, I am more so like a theme person and my theme for this year is to grow uh, organically. So that's why I chose this background here. I want to mention um, where I feel like a lot of people don't really share is being realistic with it comes to your goals and your vision. Now, don't get me wrong. You definitely can have anything in this world that you want and that you desire. You are entitled to it. But if you want to see results kind of, you know, in a faster pace, I think it's super important to be realistic. And as you can see, I used a pretext by clicking add text, um, like these preset text off to the side. And I'm adding... Um, like I mentioned, we're going with a theme. I like to either, you can type a Bible verse, you can type a word that just really you want to like be a representation for what you want your vision to be. Um, and so grow organically is something that just really is resonating with me in, in this point in my life. So I wanted to enter that and have that centered in my background. And that's why I kind of went with the leafy theme because you know, like the leaves, they represent growth. You know, I don't know if y'all catching the vibe from that. Um, so yeah, and then you can just play around with the text colors, find what works best for you. Um, with Canva, you honestly just have to get in there, you guys, and just play around with it. I myself recently made the switch to Canva this year and I love Canva. You can do so many different things in there, but I wanted to go with the green and then I was like, well, no, I kind of want it to pop. So as you guys will see, like I kind of kept, you know, moving it around and then I wanted to send it to the back and then I'm trying to bring it forward. So. Um, but yeah, you just want to go in there and play with it. And like I said, I think it's really, really good to kind of set that intention of what your theme of your board is going to go, uh, what your board is going to be. So that's what I'm doing here. Y'all, I was trying every color. Ultimately, I decided to go with like this golden brown color because I really thought that looked really well. And then I'm like, maybe this is the roots, you know, the brown root. I don't know, but yeah. So, and then keep in mind, um, for the sake of this video, I have downloaded a lot of my images already um if you guys are in need of finding images that resonate with you you can go on pinterest you can go on google just screenshot them and you can remove the background here in canva you also when you're adding your photos to your vision board if you want to frame them you can um i did that last year but this year i decided to go with just kind of more of like a free like a free theme about it like they didn't have to be in picture frames or anything like that um 
as you can see the first picture that I added was a condo um me and my husband are you know really really focused this year on trying to um pick up a real estate purchase so that's why I decided to go with my condo picture in Florida super excited about that this is a picture of a money of course I, we gonna we gonna put some money on there we're gonna put some money on there but you know and I like to just do really realistic pictures as you can see there's a picture of of the inside of a vehicle like yeah you can add a picture to your vision for it but I want to see myself sitting in it not me looking at it I can look at a vehicle any day but I'm gonna be in that vehicle so I'm um in the process of manifesting a new mommy truck uh, we are in the process of manifesting a princess cruise. I would love to do that this year. That's something I had to put my Louis on here because with my content creation and my content journey, I plan to buy myself my first big girl purchase, which is going to be a Louis Vuitton purchase. I already, I can feel it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just adding my images here. Oh, also I have the title deeds. Um, we would love to pay off our house this year that's something that we're really trying to double down on and get the deed to our house because not a lot of people can say that they have the deed to their house but whatever images resonate with you however whatever you know images you guys are using you just kind of play with them move them around upload them off to the side and then just add them here on canva also i plan on hitting 1k this year i was really upset that i didn't hit it in 2022 but that's fine um i was able to practice my consistency but i know for sure i know for a fact i will be hitting 1k on youtube very very soon so not really concerned about that but just growing organically my channel my social media presence is just something that i just really really want to focus on this year but yeah as like I, like like as you guys can see i'm just moving these images around finding what works best for me and just making it work you know like and a lot of people will say oh well you know you don't want to have all these different random colors you can make all of your colors the same um you can do so much in canva so don't feel like whatever images you have they're final you can edit them you can up the color change the, the saturation on them. you can do so much so here i'm just adding kind of one final thing and one thing that i would like to say i like to keep my images about 10 or less just because I just, I don't want to overwhelm myself with these visions. Keep in mind, I'm putting this on my phone background. And so I just really want to be realistic. Oh, as y'all can see here, um, when I say realistic, <laughs> I mean like, for example, I'm not going to put a picture of, um, let me see who's someone that's small up. Uh, I don't know. Um, Nicki Minaj, she's literally like four foot 11. I'm six foot. So I decided to use like Megan Thee Stallion. She's my height um ideally once i get this body together i feel like my body type is close to hers so you know body goals definitely want to do that i've been working out here growing consistently um working out consistently so you know getting them body goals together i gotta add that to there also i added llc because i do plan on launching my business in 2023 so these are just some of my um ideas and my visions for 2023 i know that i'm gonna accomplish them all and i'm so excited um but yeah there's really no wrong or right way of doing this you just do what's best for you you move it how you like it and as long as you like it and it makes you happy it's all that matters ultimately this is what the vision board is looking like as you guys are going to see i'm continuing to kind of play around with the images but do whatever makes you happy of course i had to add a picture of me and my hubby because you know that's my baby i wanted to add pictures of my kids but for the sake of this video in time i didn't but yeah putting things that are really important to you i think are extremely important your kids your spouse you know if you have a close relationship with i don't know you want to build a relationship a closer relationship with your siblings you know putting those images on there so you can physically see yourself in those situations are extremely helpful and I had to add my, my good old uh, um, vacation. You got to put a vacation on there, you know. I deserve it. We deserve it. Everyone deserves a vacation. So, And as y'all see, I, I kept playing with this paid content creator because I really wanted that to pop. Because every time I open up my phone and I look at this, I want to see that it says, hey, you are a paid content creator. You get paid to do what you love. And after that, you guys, I just downloaded. And that is the vision board.
Yeah, so after you download it, you can display it on your phone. Sometimes I use it on my lock screen, but I always keep it on my back wallpaper. Just love having it there because you're obviously we're constantly looking at our phones. So you can constantly have that reminder of what your goals are for 2023. So excited, you guys. As you can see, this process was super easy, super simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. I pray that you have a successful and prosperous 2023. I'm gonna get out of here, but I highly suggest if you haven't already, you check out these videos here and I will see you in my next one. Happy New Year. Baby,